Okay, so welcome to this sixth video in which we are discussing the SREBP pathway. Okay, right. So this sixth video I've added at a later later date um, because uh, I missed one little thing out which I wanted to tell you about in the SREBP pathway video. Okay, so basically at the start of the video I said that there were these three different SREBPs, okay, so there was the sterile regulatory element binding protein 1A, then there was the sterile regulatory element binding protein 1C, and then there was the sterile regulatory element binding protein 2, okay. We've then seen the pathway by which if there's a low cholesterol present within uh, the cell, then uh, the sterile receptor sorry, sterile regulatory element binding protein cleavage activating protein, SCAP, will bind to the sterile regulatory element binding protein and will result in it being transported from the ER membrane to the Golgi membrane where the sterile regulatory element binding protein will be acted upon by that site 1 protease and then that site 2 protease to release the transcription factor into the cytoplasm when it can go up to the nucleus and uh, affect transcription. Now I told you that uh, the sterile regulatory element binding proteins, uh, transcription factors, were going to increase the production of HMG-CoA reductase and also increase the production of the LDL receptor. Now that is true for two of these but not for the third one. Okay, so the sterile regulatory element binding protein 2 does indeed increase the transcription of HMG-CoA reductase and also the LDL receptor. Okay, so that does exactly what I told you to, um, what I told you it did. Okay, so um, that's going to mediate the increase in cholesterol within the cell uh, when you've got low cholesterol. However, the sterile regulatory element binding protein 1C does not do that. Instead, it increases uh, the production of an enzyme known as fatty acid synthase, okay, which is involved in the production of long-chain carboxylic acids from acetyl coenzyme A. So this is quite odd. This is cholesterol level within the cell regulating the production of fatty acids, basically. Okay, so when you've got low cholesterol within the blood, SREBP1C is going to become active. The transcription factor portion of it will be cleaved off and will go to the nucleus and increase the transcription and trans well, the transcription and thereby the translation of fatty acid synthase enzymes, which will result in an increase in your synthesis of long chain carboxylic acids. Okay, and now. Finally, the SREBP1A protein, this does both of these actions. So not only does it increase the synthesis of HMG-CoA reductase and LDL receptor, which will increase your synthesis of cholesterol and also your absorption of cholesterol, but it will also increase the synthesis of fatty acid synthase, which will therefore increase your synthesis of long-chain carboxylic acids. Okay, so that's just a tiny little bit of extra information added on to this video.